Hiya, I'm Sam Tompkins. I don't wanna show up. I'm a singer songwriter from Brighton. In and out. We're here at Lafayette right now in London uh, celebrating the release of my new song, Lose It All. I came across videos of you busking in Brighton mm -hmm. and now you're selling out shows. Nicki Minaj is even sampling your music. You blew it, I could tell you knew it, but you was like... That it's a huge <laughs> moment, right? I think tonight it's like, it's nice to know that there's definitely going to be a room full of people coming to listen and sing back my songs with me. Uh, one of the best things about you, I think, is like the vulnerability that you share with your fans. Thank I think it's more than that, it's maybe your music is mm. finally getting to the places where it needs to be. My music's always been really honest and um, because of that I've somehow collated a community of people that are invested in my emotional journey as well as my musical mm. journey and um, that means that when, I, when I'm posting or like I capture a video that maybe I'm crying in or I'm like talking about something that's really important to me like mm. I don't actually feel nervous to share that because I know that I've built a platform that allows me to do that freely because that's what people have followed me for. How was it when you first thought of using TikTok and utilising that platform to put your music out there? I love the freedom of it, like mm. I don't feel uh, the pressures that I do with certain other ones. Social media as a whole is like, is what bridges the gap between the artist and the fan. I don't like know if I like that concept anymore, I think it's quite dated now, I think everyone knows that we're all just like playing a part. I, I started out busking and it started very organically and like I could literally, I literally knew the people that were my fans because they'd come and see me every week and we'd talk after the shows. So maintaining that relationship with my fans has been really important and TikTok's a really good way of doing that. Instagram's also really good. Your music must have got on the right for you page because Justin Bieber <laughs> is sliding in to your DMs or calling you. Mm. From what I can gather it's, it's he found a video on TikTok or it was Instagram and he decided to follow me. I've been following him since I was younger and we built a friendship from there that stemmed much further than music like he's like a really good friend of mine and he's also someone who um, I admire so much and I'm, and I'm inspired by so much really I was talking to him about it the other day is like I am so lucky I, I feel so grateful that he's so human like mm. like so many people I can imagine aren't and he's treated me on such a human level if there was three words you had to use to describe your music and what you want people to take from your music. What would those three words be? Passion, honesty and vulnerability. 